Good morning. Welcome to day eight. And today, I'm trying something new. I have no idea if I'll use this footage or if you'll even be able to hear me. But we're out for that daily bike ride. Getting her done. So for those of you that don't know the story, why I'm out here pedaling my butt off. Mama Badger and myself. We ride motorcycles for a living. And a lot of that involves being on social media, Facebook being our primary, YouTube, TikTok, all of them. And so that puts us sitting in front of a computer for a lot of time, which equates to zero exercise. And then on our motorcycles all summer, we put on almost 25,000 miles this year. So there's something I read out there that says you burn like 200 calories an hour riding a motorcycle. Yeah, I think that's bullshit. So we ride our motorcycles a lot and we just kept getting fatter and fatter and fatter over the summer. And honestly, it's kind of hard to watch what you eat when you're eating a lot of fast food and on the road. And it's definitely a challenge. This year I'm going to try to do better, but still. It's going to be really tough. So, after we got back from our long trip, we left in July and came back in October. We actually came back two weeks early because of the hurricane. Hi guys, so today's support bikers shout out. Whoop whoop. Castle, Castle Repair. Located um, in Missouri, Sheld Knob to be specific. Yes, it's Terry and Travis. Um, they're an awesome couple. They do uh, all kinds of repairs. I, I was looking at their, at their Facebook earlier. They do golf carts, tractors, whatever. Um, they will repair it. Well, they so, do live in Chill Knob. They do. So, <laughs> and if you know where no that's telling... at, put in the comments so you know exactly where that's at. <laughs> so there's no telling what they're going to run into. But an awesome biker couple. They're the ones that got us the U-Haul yeah. um, to bring the supplies back for the hurricane. Mm -hmm. And uh, guys, if you need any kind of repairs um, and you're in the Shell Knob area, reach out to the castles. Um, they will take excellent care of you, I have no doubt. Very, very, very gracious individuals. That's it. Very blessed. All right, guys. <laughs> go check them out. You can check them out. They're on Facebook. Um, they're on supportbikers.com as well. And uh, give them some love. Tell yep. them the Badger sent you. Please. But anyway, after we got back and kind of got our bearings, after we did that, I stepped on the scale. I'm 5'8". And I was 212 pounds. And most of it was all in my belly. So I made a decision at that moment before I left next summer, I was not gonna have a stomach. And I kind of targeted a weight of 175. I told Angie, I don't care what I weigh. I more so care what it looks like. But anyway, so like the second week in October, we started a diet, basically the carnivore diet. If it's an animal or from an animal, we could eat it, which is funny because Angie does not like meat, but she's like, I'm gonna do this with you, so. And then about a month ago, I started working out every day. I've missed one day. Because it was really raining. And I shouldn't have missed that day, honestly. Good morning. Morning. 
but I did I missed that day I was weak but I haven't missed any day since every day I get up and I either run or I ride some days it's really hard the past two or three has been really hard I don't want to get ran over me stopping like that's gonna slow my time down a little bit I had a really good time going this morning last I heard I was at five minutes nine seconds per mile So when I first started, I set a goal to run a mile. I ran for the first, I don't know, week, 10 days with just some regular tennis shoes on and I messed up my ankles and my knee pretty bad. So I went out and got some good shoes. God, I hate spending money like that. And then I had an old bike, so I pulled the bike out, I WD-40'd all the working parts, I filled the tires up with air, and I started riding my bike every day. And on average I ride about six to seven miles a day. Some days I get froggy, and I'll do 15. But for the most part, six to seven. Although I've been kicking around. If I do this, I'm gonna have to catch up for the month. But I think for December, I wanna average 10 miles per day. So that'd be over 300 miles in December on the bike. And you might ask why today's vlog is like this and about this. And it's because I get questions all the time about, or comments, that say, man, you're so lucky, you get to ride motorcycles for a living. Man, I want that job, how do I do it? You wanna know how you do it? You stop dreaming about it, and you start working on it. I know. You got jobs. When I started this, I was running a credit card processing company. I found I was still at a five minute, nine second pace. I need to pick up the pace, don't I? Anyway, I made time every day, even though I didn't want to do it, to work on this. And you can too. Figure out what you can do and what amount of time it's gonna take and block that time off every day and do it. Because if you don't do it, it ain't gonna magically appear. It doesn't work like that. Good morning. Ah, the morning. Everybody's just waking up. The sun is coming up, ah. and it's early, so nobody's had a chance to get pissed off for the day. Everybody's pretty happy saying good morning to each other. By the time this evening rolls around, they'll be honking at each other, flipping the bird, ready to get home. Amazing how a day of work will do that to you. I will say one thing that has helped me tremendously doing this is doing these daily vlogs. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good. They had puppies. Haha. <laughs> Man, I hope this turns out. That was a good talk. I pumped myself up.
so anyway like i was saying one thing that's really pushed me is this daily vlog i made a commitment for everybody to see that i was going to lose weight which by the way i've lost 21 pounds that's pretty solid i got a ways to go but in like a little less than two months that's an average of 10 pounds a month I cut sugar out of my diet diet soda sucks water sucks but I did find some Skittles powder you can pour in your water it makes it taste like Skittles it definitely helps for somebody that does not like water at all it helped me anyway so I committed to working out and losing weight and for 21 days I did like a short little daily vlog I put on my Facebook and that kept me working out every day and being accountable So, eight days ago, I got this crazy idea. I was gonna do a video every day for 365 days, for an entire year. Good morning. And is it gonna suck? Yeah. For example, we were gone all day yesterday doing the Toys for Tots run. And then we had to go grocery shopping. So we got home, I was tired. I did not want to put a video together. And I had hours of footage to sort through. Ooh, I'm down to five minutes and eight seconds a mile. I cut a second, uh, uh, no, yeah, a second off. Woo! My math isn't working today. Anyway, last thing I wanted to do was come home and edit a video and get it put up for tomorrow's vlog. Normally, I'd have just been like, you know what? I'll put that out in a week or two. But I made a commitment to post a video every day. So I think I got done, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock last night. And as this year progresses, I'm sure I'm gonna get fancier with my editing, which is only gonna take longer. So I better get better at telling the story and putting stuff together, huh? Anyway, I know it's Tuesday morning when you're watching this. So, I hope you like this different view on a vlog. Entrepreneur here, man. Multitasking. I'm getting my exercise in and my daily vlog. Winning. Anyway, guys. Have an awesome Tuesday. Have an awesome week. And whatever it is you're dreaming about, get out and make it happen. See ya. Hi guys. 6.20 miles. Average speed 11.67. And last I heard, it was five minutes, eight seconds per mile. Great morning. Great workout.